If you're an entrepreneur or a freelancer, you know that sometimes income can be a little crazy, right? Some months uh, income is great, you're doing a ton of business, you're making a lot of money, and the next month it's like a flat line. Uh, and how do you balance that? How do you kind of keep things straight in your own life and have some stability while you have this income balancing act that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, you have to recognize that you are a business owner. And as a business owner, you need to have systems and processes that you follow. So here's what I want you to do. First of all, I want you to annualize your expected income and expected expenses. In other words, kind of take a, a guess at what do you think that you will generate an income for the year. So let's say that you just, uh, based on everything you're doing and, and things that are on the table, you believe you can bring in $100,000 of income this year. What I want you to do is set your budget to anywhere from 70 to 80% of that. So build your budget around 70 to $80,000 if your income was expected to be 100,000. Then what you need to do is set up two separate checking accounts. One is your business operating account and the other is your personal checking account. I want all your income in your business to go to your operating account and then set up a salary that is equal to those expenses divided by 12 and every month push that money, send that money over to your personal accounts that you live on. So let's use some easy math here. If you think you're gonna bring in $100,000 of income this year, uh, and let's say that you set your expenses at $72,000, that would be $6,000 a month. Every month you're moving $6,000 uh, from, your, from your business account to your personal account. I would do that through a payroll service so they withhold taxes, you know, they submit your taxes for you. Everything just like if you work for a company because you do, you work for your own company and have that levelized steady income flow. If you do it that way, then even though some months you might generate $20,000 of income, which is a really big month for you, uh, you're not going to spend that $20,000. You're gonna keep spending that levelized income in this case, $6,000, so that you have more stability in your life rather than going through these giant swings. So that is first and foremost how you need to approach it. And then what you can do is, is every quarter, every six months, every year, you can bonus yourself any excess. So if you end up having a big year and you do 125,000, you should have a lot of excess sitting in that operating account and you just pay yourself a bonus. But having that levelized stability is going to give you a lot more focus. You're not gonna be stressed out about income every month when you can put yourself on that levelized income plan. So let me give you a personal example. I own several companies. Um, I have income coming into all these different companies at different times. And so what I do is, is I pay myself a salary uh, that is, is enough for me to live the lifestyle that I want to live on a regular basis. And then typically once a quarter, I will look at the income statements of all of the companies uh, that I own or that I'm a part of and I will look at you know who has additional income, who has, you know, this company over here is sitting on a lot of extra cash and this other company you know, has barely got any cash in it. And so I'll do one of a few things. One, I might bonus myself out income from the companies that did really well. I might shift income from one company to another, or I might use it to pursue some investment opportunity. So like right now, I'm actually in the process of looking to buy another business. So I'll need some cash to do that. And so I have cash, some excess uh, income from some of those different companies that I will be able to use to make that purchase. And so when you treat yourself like a business and you have reports, and these aren't very difficult to do, by the way, you can do this in a simple Excel spreadsheet, you're able to make better business decisions and you're not just kind of spending money as it comes in but you're putting yourself in a position to act like a business owner and when you act like a business owner you make better business choices and that's how you grow your wealth so if you want to have financial freedom financial independence treat yourself like a business use your businesses use your incomes to create stability and then that stability will lead to opportunity